What's good with you two, man? Welcome back to another wavy video. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we back with another video, man. Hey, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Check out some of the older videos if you want to. You know what I'm saying? You, know, you can get your tips. You can get your tips. Really, nigga? Whatever the case may be. All that. You did what I'm saying? Check out some of the older videos if you're new to the channel, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, we got some bangers, man. You know what I'm saying? You can see right here, it's that video. It's that gun smoke right here. You did what I'm saying? This right here? Oh, yeah. Check that video out right there. You know what I'm saying? That's one of my... I would like to say one of my best videos. You know what I'm saying? I would say, yeah, man, go ahead and check that video out. Check out, just check, just rock with the content. You did what I'm saying? Hey, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And you know, yeah, stay tuned for more wavy videos. In today's video, man, we're gonna be talking about these things that, in a sense, all wave, especially if you're in the beginning stages, man, these things right here that all wavers hate. Oh, yeah, and today, man, we're not gonna do an unrag in the day. You know what I'm saying? We're not. You know, as you can see, your boy already done rag, and you know what I'm saying? And of course, if you've been watching the video, you already know your boy's spinning, you did what I'm saying? Like, you already know it. But of course, you know, next video, hey, I, I put in a little bit more of that brush work or whatever the case may be. You already know we're gonna do an unrag, man, you know, you already know it. We're gonna talk about the things that, these things right here, that is, of course, if you're in a beginner, if you're a beginning waver, and you know what I'm saying, and you first starting out to get waves, and you just brushing, or you going, and all these directions or whatever, like you, you don't have no, you don't, you don't have no clue. You just brushing. You dig what I'm saying? Like you going um, uh, you you know what I'm saying? Like hey, you doing this right here? You going um, um, you know just all over. You know just you know you know you ain't, you ain't got no sense. You know what I'm saying? You, hold on, I gotta fix this part right here. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got no, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like no sense of direction of, of which way to go. And like when you brushing like that. You create these things in your head, and, and of course, these things I call forks. You dig what I'm saying? So today, man, we're gonna be talking about forks, man. And I'm gonna be telling y'all my way of how I got rid of my forks. Of course, of course, I still, I know I still have forks, but my hair has gotten better from what it used to be. And you know what I'm saying? This right here is what my hair used to look like, and it took like a lot of. Not necessarily, well, yeah, a lot of like work or whatever to, to in a sense, kind of get, you know, to remove those forks or whatever. You dig what I'm saying? Forks are basically when, like, you have, let's just say two waves. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have, like, a wave pattern or whatever. Boom. Like, you have two waves, and those waves, in a sense, they crash, in a sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't just have, like, let's just say you're not just, like, ropey. You dig what I'm saying? Like, and, my, and I would say, like, to, to define, like, being, like, ropey or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Or just like wavy, wavy. You know what I'm saying? That's when like you just, you just got, you You can look at your hair and your waves like, you know what I'm saying? Like you don't have two waves like clashing or like just have like this area over here on the side of your head where like you got like a wave just, just running into another one. You dig what I'm saying? And those are, those are forks. You dig what I'm saying? Like that's, that's why like some people may be like, okay, you know, like say if you see like this person like maybe like a beginning wave or something like that, you know what I'm saying, post a picture and they be like, oh, okay, oh, I'm waving now. You know what I'm saying, I'm waving. But then like, then like you may think to yourself and be like, okay, but he got a head full of forks, you dig what I'm saying? Like, you know, like he got a head full of forks. But at the same time, forks are a stage that I feel that you have to go through to get to that next level that you want to be at. You dig what I'm saying? Like, like if you want to, get to like, let's just say 360 G's a level or or even like a circle, you know, just some of the like big YouTube waivers or whatever, or just, or anybody, you know what I'm saying? Like if you want to get to like that, that type of elite status or whatever, you got to go through forks and you have to know how to get rid of those forks, you dig know what I'm saying? And I would say the tool, one of the tools to get rid of your forks would be this right here, a comb. Now, of course, I know some of you may be thinking, okay, boom, a comb, but you know, hey, we trying to, hey, hey, look, I'm trying to get wavy, so you know what I'm saying? I thought I had to use the brush, but no, not all the time. This this, this right here, when you woofing, this right here gonna get down to that root of that hair, you did what I'm saying? So this right here, a comb, this right here will help you get rid of your fork. And I'm not saying like, take this comb and you know, like just go in like all different type of directions and, and all that other type of stuff. Basically do what you did with the brush to get the forks and then grab the comb and do the exact same thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying do that, you dig what I'm saying? Like with the comb, basically put it like this. 
whether you brushing or you combing, you have to know your pattern of your hair, basically, I would say. Like, you gotta know the pattern of your hair, which means, like, if you're trying to get waves on the top, you brushing straight down. You brushing straight down. And of course, you wanna use, like, a mirror or your phone, or whatever the case may be, you know what I'm saying? Like, mirror, phone, tablet, piece of glass, whatever you want, you know what I'm saying? Like, as long as you can see that reflection in it, you did what I'm saying? Don't use a piece of glass, you did what I'm saying? You know, that was just a joke. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? Like. You take the comb, you gotta know your pattern. So if you're trying to get waves at the top, boom. You're gonna start off in the back of your crown and you're gonna go boom. You know, you know, you're gonna work that comb to the front. You know, you're gonna, you're gonna go with the pattern. I'm not saying after you get a fresh cut or something, of course you don't go in with no comb. You know what I'm saying? So don't take no comb after you get a fresh cut and be like, oh, I see a fork. Let me try to comb that out. Nah, you don't do that. Like say, like if you're in like the wolf, like I say, if you're in those wolfing stages, you take the comb, you go with your, you go with your pattern. You go with your pattern. You you have to have a sense of how to brush when you brush or how to comb when you comb. Like you, you just gotta know that. You dig what I'm saying? So like that that's why I say you can't just go in there all, all I'm finna say this word. You can't just go in there all willy-nilly. You dig what I'm saying? Like you can't just go in there all willy-nilly with with the comb and then you know what I'm saying, just going hitting the back, you know what I'm saying, just all over your head. I mean of course, this is one key also. I don't think I've ever said in one of my in my videos, but whenever you brushing, of course, if you've been brushing, you probably already know this. If you just started, you know what I'm saying? This may be new to you. But you know what I'm saying? This is what you do. You start from your crown and you know what I'm saying? And you just go. You go in the direction that you're trying to go. Especially if you on the sides, you're gonna you're gonna start from your crown. Me sometimes on this side, of course, sometimes I like to start. And I go like this, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And you know, when I go down like this, it all depends. Like, do what feel comfortable to you. You dig what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when it comes to holding the comb, you know what I'm saying? Me, when it's on this side, I like to hold it like this, start from like the crown area up here, and then, then you know, go down in the in the right angle or whatever. And kind of get rid of some of the force. Of course, I still have some, cause it's still a, it's still work that I have to do. But you know what I'm saying? Like I say, to get rid of forks, you gotta put that work in. You just gotta put that work in, man. You gotta put the work in with the comb and not only the comb, the brush. The brush will help you get rid of the forks. But the way that the brush and the comb, like I said, will help you get rid of forks, you have to have a sense of direction when you brush it. You know what I'm saying? I'll say it again, you have to have a sense of direction when you brush your hair. Like I say, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't just go in there all crazy. You dig what I'm saying? Like you gotta, you, you gotta go in there right. You know, like on this side, and you and you say if you have you have forks on this side. So what you'll do, you'll start from the crown area, you'll start from up top, crown area, boom, and you go down. You go, you know what I'm saying? You go, you go, you go with your pattern. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you go with the flow of your hair. You go with the flow of your hair. You dig what I'm saying? And like that's basically how you, how you, you know what I'm saying? Like how you get rid of forks. The way that you get forks is of course come from. I like come from, like I say, when you brushing, like say, like you just wanna, you know, like say like you just wanna get the waves in there and everything like that. And you know, you brushing and you going through all that and you just, you know, you brushing. But, but like you don't, like I say, like you, you don't, this is gonna sound crazy, but like, it's like you brushing, but you don't know how to brush. You know what I'm saying? And it may sound crazy. You may be like, how can a person not know how to brush? You know what I'm saying? Like, like it's almost like, it's almost like, say for, say for example, like you have people, you know, like everybody know how to drive a car, but you got some people that drive better than others. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't no race car driver. You did what I'm saying? I don't know if that worked, but I think it did. You did what I'm saying? So yeah, you know what I'm saying? So same thing with brushing. Everybody know how to brush, but everybody don't know their angles. You know what I'm saying? And that's, and that just, and that's like when you don't know your angles and then say you just brushing and you just, I want to say maybe like overlapping or something like that and you're just doing all that and you just you know steady switching positions you know what i'm saying rotating the brush and not kind of and not being consistent with it you know what i'm saying it's going to put you into this area like dang man like how come this side look like this or like how come the top look like this and, and over to the right or left side of the back it's just like it just look like a big mess you know what i'm saying like a whole car wreck you did what i'm saying and then at that point you may feel like Bro, I've tried everything, like, dang, like, you know, I didn't, I didn't try brushing, 
I didn't try it. All these methods of how they say uh, uh, combing, combing it back, combing it forward, doing all that like that. But it's still, but ain't nothing working. Like one thing, like I say, that gets rid of forks, you have to comb and comb with your pattern. You know what I'm saying? Or you can, and of course, of course, as you see some people comb it out, like comb out their hair or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like when you, it's feel like when you woofing or something, you like just, you know, going back against the grain like that. Me personally, I don't do that no more. One thing I, you know what I'm saying, that what I've noticed whenever I do that, bro, I have a mean headache, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and, and I'm just ain't trying to go through that. You did know what I'm saying? So that's why I say, you comb with the pattern. You comb with the pattern, you brush with the pattern. I mean, like, let that sink in. You did know what I'm saying? Comb with the pattern, brush with the pattern. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna be my motto. You brush, comb with the pattern, brush with the pattern. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't take anything else from this video, make sure y'all remember that, man. Comb with the pattern, brush with the pattern. So yeah, man, you gotta be consistent with your strokes, bro. And like, you gotta be consistent. Basically, to, to cap off this video, you gotta know how to brush your hair. Point blank period. You know what I'm saying? Pay attention, don't don't just, sometimes don't just brush just the brush. I mean, of course, like if you chilling watching TV and you cooling or whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's cool to just, you know, boom, brush, you know, and then, you know, just, you know, you know what I'm saying? Brush, but go with your pattern. You did what I'm saying? Like, you gotta, at some point, you gotta know your angles in because that's how you will avoid forks or whatever I feel. But, that, but of course, you're gonna have forks regardless. I mean, cause your waves gotta form. Like, put it like this, your waves gonna form. It's up to you to get it how you want it to be. You did what I'm saying? That's another little nigga for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, your waves gonna form, but it's up to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, and when I say it's up to you, that mean, you gotta put that brush to work, whether it be medium, soft, hard, depending on the stage of your, of your hair. You gotta put that brush to work, and you gotta put that comb to work. And, and any other thing that you may use, you know what I'm saying, like any other type of product, you gotta put it to work. It's up to you to get your hair to how you want it to be. I mean, like you can sit back and look at other people's hair and be like, dang, like, okay, dang, he ain't, see, like, he ain't got no fork. How his hair get like that? Number one ounce of brushing or even combing, you know what I'm saying, or just putting that work in. At the end of the day, you know these tips, the number one tip is always gonna be, man, if you want good ways or you want almost almost perfect ways or even elite ways, you know what I'm saying? Like, even if you wanna be on that status, you know what I'm saying, on that, you know, like that elite status or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You gotta put that work in. You know, anybody, waving, and that's, and that's like a good thing about waving. I mean, like, anybody can have, as they say, elite waves, you know what I'm saying? And having elite waves isn't like a club or something that you gotta, you know, like, you know, hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, boom, if I join these folk over here, then boom, I'm gonna get elite waves. They don't work like that. Cause at the end of the day, you still gotta put that work in. And then if you ain't putting that work in, like, you just gonna be, I mean, just, I, will, I guess just like a little wavy, you know what I'm saying? We all want like something like this, you know, just like a little pitch I took the other day, you know what I'm saying? I had to throw that in there because, you know, you know your boy's standing, you did what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, yeah, but, man, yeah, this is going to cap off the video, man. This is going to cap off the video, man. I hope I said something here to help any new waver, you know what I'm saying, a young waver, or, or even somebody who's been doing this for a good little minute and they just wanted to click on the video to hear what, you know what I'm saying, what your boy had to say, you did what I'm saying. So yeah, man, I hope I said something here to help y'all. And like I said, if you're new to the channel, man, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more late videos, man, because, you know, hey, I'm gonna try to be more consistent with the videos and try to come back with more, with, with more content. I want to do like a little, like a little experiment going like a whole week without no do-rag period no do-rag no brushing no nothing you did what i'm saying like just a whole week you know what i'm saying to see how it go you know what i'm saying i kind of wanted to do that i don't know if that'll be a good video so let me know in the comment section down below if y'all would want to see something like that man because hey at the end of the day even though you wave i mean like have a little fun with it too you did what i'm saying but yeah man that's gonna be the end of this video man like i say like comment and subscribe and you boy at this time peace